Hi everyone, my name is Adam. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the extensive list of improvements and features that you can expect in ACDC Photo Studio for Mac 8. Because this edition contains a very large number of new features, this video will be a bit longer than our typical promo and tutorial content. I'll be timestamping the features in the description below so you can skip ahead to the feature that most interests you. Let's begin. Universal App To start off with, Photo Studio for Mac 8 is now a universal app that runs natively on Macs with an Apple silicone chip, such as the M1, for widespread performance gains. Indexer Much like our other PC products, ACDC Photo Studio for Mac 8 now contains the Indexer. The Indexer is a tool that allows you to automatically update your database by including folders to scan while your computer is idle. Navigate to Preferences, the General tab, and Indexer. From this screen, we can turn the Indexer on or off. We can change which database we want to index, and we can add or remove folders that we are scanning for the indexing process. ACDC Mobile Sync. Mac 8 now supports Mobile Sync. Mobile Sync is an app for your smartphone that allows you to sync newly taken photographs to an ACDC folder on your desktop or laptop. Once the app is installed, please see the description for Google Play and App Store links. It's as simple as selecting the computer you want to sync to and the images you want to transfer. Here, I'll select a couple images and tap the sync button on the top right of the app interface. The app shows me the progress of the sync and on the desktop side, you'll see my images successfully loaded into the ACDC mobile sync folder that was created the first time I synced new images. Note that my unsynced images are indicated by an orange border around the edge of the photos in my app. Note that I can also turn on automatic syncing in the app options, so that when I enter my house, mobile sync will already be uploading my newly taken images. Filmstrip View. Filmstrip View has been added to manage mode. Turn on Filmstrip View by navigating to View, Filmstrip, from above the preview panel. Filmstrip allows you the best combination of both a high quality image and all the digital asset management options of traditional manage mode. Navigator window. Zoom in on one of your images to access the navigator window. The navigator window is a clickable button next to the zoom controls. By holding the button down and panning across the window, it allows you to quickly and easily navigate through your zoomed image. Color LUTs. LUTs, or lookup tables, are now supported on Mac 8. ACDC comes preloaded with several LUTs, but they can now be downloaded from third party sources and applied in develop mode. To apply a LUT to your image, open an image in develop mode and navigate to the LUT development filter. I'll choose a LUT from the drop down. Note that when it is applied, I can click the arrow to the right of the LUT to open up opacity and blending options. Here I'll apply a soft light blend at about 50% opacity. ACDC Mac 8 supports .cube and .3dl LUT files. These files will be viewable by Finder and can be imported successfully. Color Wheel Color Wheel is an impressive selection tool that has been added to develop mode in Mac 8. I'll open up Color Wheel from the Development Filter panel, and let's have a look at our image. We can use the color picker to hone in on a specific color or range of colors, and then adjust those colors by using the adjustment slider beneath the color wheel itself. I'm going to use the cursor to hover over different parts of my image. Note that the wheel moves to match what color the cursor is hovering over. If I select blue in my image using the color picker, the wheel will be moved into the blue range and I can refine from there. By lifting the radius marker here, I can choose to include more hues than just the ones that I selected with the color picker. As I move these, you will notice that our image becomes grayscale to illustrate which parts of our image are these added hues. 
I can use this center marker here to spin the currently selected range of colors into a new hue. We can also pull the center of the radius outwards to only target highly saturated colors. Inversely, we can pull the perimeter of our color wheel to target less saturated colors. When we have our selection, we can adjust saturation and brightness, or even hue, to illustrate how we've captured this color spectrum. If I want to invert the selection to target everything but the selected hue, I can click the Invert button on the bottom right. Note that we can actually add up to 10 additional wheel selections by clicking the plus button here. Tone wheels. Also new to Mac 8 is tone wheels. Tone wheels acts like a much more in-depth and nuanced version of split toning. Each wheel represents a spectrum of tone, highlights, midtones, and shadows. As you can see with our tone wheels here, we can actually supplant our highlights with a specific range of color, saturation, and brightness. If I wanted to make the sky in my image red, I can move the highlight wheel to the red spectrum and then increase my saturation and brightness sliders to the desired amount. Let's also change the shadows in this image to a purple color and lower the saturation. You can see that I don't need to increase the saturation bar itself, as I have control over the color's saturation depending on how far it is away from the center of the tone wheel here. I can then darken or tweak the saturation if I want accordingly. Note that I can also set the shadows, midtones, or highlights using these color picker icons here. Color EQ, Contrast, and Balance. Color EQ in develop mode now boasts both contrast and balance sliders. Navigating to Color EQ, click the Contrast tab at the top of the section. Notice that detail is lost in our image because of how bright the orange and yellow values are. If I increase the contrast and lower the balance for these hues, details in the background become more visible. Dehaze. Dehaze is a single operation slider that can be found within the general section of develop mode. By increasing the dehaze slider, you will effectively remove particulate detail in your image. Dehaze is effective at removing fog, mist, smoke, or rays of visible light. Skin Tune. New to Mac 8 is Skin Tune. Skin Tune can be found within the detail tab of develop mode. Skin Tune works to smooth imperfections and pores on skin. Here, I'll adjust the smoothing and glow gently until the pores of the skin are less visible. Lastly, I'll move the radius so that the contrast of the nose, eyebrows, and eyes isn't lost with the general glow and smoothing adjustments. Zoom Lock. Zoom Lock is a great quality of life improvement that maintains your current zoom levels while moving through your film strip. Zoom Lock is available in both view and develop mode. In view mode, I'll zoom to a desirable distance and then navigate to view zoom lock. With zoom lock turned on, when I move to new images in my film strip, I will maintain the zoom percentage that I had when I set zoom lock in the first place. I can change the zoom outwards and navigate to other images to the same effect. I can turn zoom lock off whenever I want. Improved color picker display. Another quality of life improvement is the color picker itself. I've alluded to it in a couple of places, but notice that when I hover over my image while in tools like tone wheels or white balance, for example, my color picker accurately shows each color's RGB values as I select new pixels. That represents the bulk of improvements in ACDC Photo Studio for Mac 8. There will be other improvements that I couldn't cover in this video, so please check out the product pages for more information on those features. Stay tuned for more tutorial content, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell icon for notifications when we put out new videos. Take care.